Hello everybody, Interinteri back again. Of course I have to do a video about this uh, upset and this guys is an upset between Rafael Nadal and Fabio Fognini, the great shot maker from the Italian. Um, who, would believe, who, would, who would believe that the Italian guy would defeat the clay court uh, giant Rafael Nadal? Not me at least, I can be honest with that guys. Um, what a performance from uh, Fabio Fognini, oh my god, the first set it was a very very windy conditions, of course it was windy for both of the players and it seemed like uh, Fognini managed to handle those uh, difficult conditions better than Nadal, Nadal was not playing good guys at all in that first set uh, to say the least. Uh, a set that Fognini in the end won with 6-4 and uh, then in the second set guys the the wind was uh, cooling down it was not as windy as in the first set and I thought that Nadal would find his rage find his ground strokes make less unforced errors and at least make more winners but that was not what happened guys Fognini just he relaxed in the second set, he was hitting the spots, he was hitting a lot of winners. I think Fognini all in all made uh, 10, 21 winners in the whole match compared to Nadal who only made 10 winners. Uh, that's the big difference in the match to be quite honest guys. Um, because the, the unforced errors uh, between these two was not crazy different between those two. I think Rafa made 25 unforced errors and uh, Fognini made 22 unforced errors. So it was the winners that separate these two in the end. Fognini made 21 winners and Rafa made only 10 winners. So Fognini made 11 more winners than Nadal. So uh, all in all, Fognini was the better player and of course, and that, that's why he won. He almost battled Nadal, guys, in that second set. He was 5-0 up and 40-0, but Nadal uh, break back and uh, make the match to 5-1 and then hold his serve to 5-2, but then Fognini, was, when he was serving for, for the second time for, to win the match, he served it out and won the second set 6-2, guys. 6-4, 6-2, Fognini won this semi-final battle. I didn't, dis I didn't see this coming, guys, and I don't think that many of you did that either. Rafa Nadal was my number one favorite to win this event. All, the, all my three favorites are out now. Number, my number third favorite was Djokovic. He was knocked out against Medvedev in the quarterfinals. Dominic Thiem was my second favorite. He was knocked out against Lajovic in the third round. Lyle, which who went on and defeated Medvedev in, the, in his semifinals after an outrageous performance uh, by the by the by the Serb, and now Lyle, which is going to face um, Fabio Fognini in the final. But what a performance from by Fabio Fognini! I'm not saying that Nadal played any great tennis because he didn't, guys. He only made 10, um, 10 winners and 25 unforced errors, and I think. 15 of those unforced errors come from his foreign side. That's a lot. That is Rafa's arsenal shot. That is Rafa's huge weapon. That is Rafa's uh, big, big weapon uh, uh, that he makes a lot of winners with, with, that he hurts his opponents with. But today in this semi-final, that shot was letting him down, guys. 15 unforced errors only from the foreign side. And only 10 from the backhand side, so he did a lot more unforced errors from the forehand side. But 25 unforced errors, it, not, it, it is not crazy much, guys. All, all right, it is not, to be Nadal, it is much, because Nadal is known to, to do a, 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 a few unforced errors. But the, the, Nadal lost the match in the, in the winners, guys. He only did 10 winners, five in the first set and five in the second set. Six with his forehand and four with his backhand. Uh, Nadal was serving pretty good. He, he, he was landing 69 first percentage of first serves in. And for, for Nini was landing only 48 first serves in, guys. But that, but that didn't matter because 
Fognini defeated Rafa from the baseline, which is unbelievable because that is what Rafa always does to his opponents. He always defeats his opponents from the baseline. But Nadal was not himself in this match. Nadal was not playing crazy good. Uh, Fognini was clearly the better player. I thought in the first set it was, like I said earlier in the video, it was wind, uh, windy conditions and I thought that that was the reason why Rafa was struggling. And in the second set the, the wind was cooling down and I thought that Rafa will step up and play better, but that didn't happen, guys. The player who stepped up and played even better in cooling windy conditions like it was in the second set, it was Fognini. He was he was making a lot of winners in the second set, more than in the first set. He was not doing a crazy, of, a crazy much of unforced errors. He did only 22 unforced errors compared to Nadal, 25. Three less than Nadal. But that was not the big difference in the match. The big difference was in the winners. Fognini made 21 winners and Rafa made only 10 winners. And that's where Fognini won this match, guys. To be quite honest, Fognini didn't serve better than Nadal. He he served only 48% first serves in. Nadal served 69% first serves in. Fognini didn't do a lot, a lot of more less unforced errors than Nadal. He only did three le uh, three less unforced errors than Nadal. Nadal did 25. Fognini did 22. But it was in the winners that the big difference was here, guys. Fognini produced 21 winners and Nadal only 10 winners. And that's why Fognini won this match. This is an upset, guys. Definitely an upset. For me, the biggest upset this year so far. Where has Fognini been this far in the season? He has barely won any tennis matches, guys, before this Monte Carlo event. Nobody was counting with him to go this deep in the tournament, to go to the final. Let alone defeating the clay court monster Rafael Nadal in straight sets. In, in convincingly fashion way. So no, this was not a, a, a victory that we was counting with. I was not counting with, with Fognini to defeat Nadal, absolutely not. And I don't think many of the, you did either. Uh, Rafa Nadal was the overwhelming favorite in this match. I know that Fognini has defeated Nadal in, in the past. It was before this match. It was 11-3 to Rafa Nadal in the head-to-head, -head. and Fognini has defeated Rafa three times. All those victories came in 2015. Two of them was in clay, and one of them was in in U.S. Open when Fognini made that miracle comeback when he was 2-0 down against Nadal in that U.S. Open fourth round, I believe. But Fognini turned that around to 3-2. And the other two uh, uh, victories from Fognini came on clay. One of them came on. Uh, came in um, uh, Rome, I believe, and the other one came in Hamburg, I believe. So Fognini has defeated Rafa before, I know that, and two times he has defeated him in clay, and one time in hard court. But that was four years ago. Rafa didn't, has, did, Rafa didn't have his best season in that 2015 season, like we all remember. He was losing a lot of matches. He lost even in French Open in that quarterfinals against uh, Novak Djokovic. And he lost even in Astral Open in that year against Thomas Berdish in the quarterfinal as well that year. So that was a weaker Rafa four years ago. So I was not counting that Fognini would, would defeat uh, Rafa in this match. But, but he has done that in the past. So clearly he, he knows how to do it. He has done it in the past. And he showed that today as well that he can do it again for the fourth time in his career. For the third time on clay. So now the head-to-head -head is 11-4 to Rafael Nadal. Congre congratulations to Fabio Fognini to his first ever Masters 1000 final against the uh, Dusan Lajovic as well for, for him, for his first ever Masters 1000 final in his career. Two, two surprises who, who are going who gonna, to uh, meet each other in the final tomorrow, guys, in Monte Carlo. Uh, con congratulations to both of them. Nobody was counting for these two to meet in the final. Absolutely nobody. And uh, Fognini, congratulations to him for his biggest, maybe his biggest win in his career. I don't know. Maybe that US Open victory over Nadal in 2015 was bigger. But I, I believe that this one is much is bigger because he's, if he defeated Nadal in a, in a semi-final. In a semi-final in, 
in uh, in a Masters event. So uh, and he's gonna he's gonna go uh, to play uh, the final to win his biggest title in, in his career. So this has to be Fognini's biggest victory in his career, I believe. So congr congratulations to Fabio Fognini for his. Uh, Outrageous performance against Nadal, not against the uh, amazing Nadal uh, in this match, but Nadal never does, in my opinion, hor horrible tennis matches like like Djokovic can do, like we saw against Medvedev. Djokovic was totally out of shape. He did 47 unforced errors yesterday. It, it is not like Nadal did the same horrible performance against uh, Fognini, not because, or, or, like I said, Rafa did 25 unforced errors. It's it's not. It's uh, it's a lot few than less than what Djokovic did against Medvedev in yesterday. Medvedev, uh, Djokovic did 47 yesterday. So, but Fognini was was a clearly the better player. He didn't he didn't face uh, Nadal, who was in amazing shape in this match, but he was clearly the better player. He won in straight, in straight sets, 6-4, 6-2, in and he almost bagged uh, Rafa in that second set. Uh, who who? How many players has bagged Rafa on clay in the past? Uh, not many players. I know one of them is Roger Federer. He did that in 2007 in Hamburg. Uh, in that Hamburg final when Ro Roger won that final in Hamburg in three sets. In, and the third set Ro Roger won six zeros. But it, not, it is not many players who has bagged Ro uh, Rafa in, uh, on clay. That's for sure. And Fognini almost did that in this match in that second set. But Rafa ex escaped that bagged and did the match a little, little more closer. But in the end, Fognini won 6-4 and 6-2. Very deservedly. Very deserved victory for F uh, Fabio Fognini. Probably his biggest victory in his career. And he, and he now is going to face Dusan Lajovic. Another surprise who has went on to go to the final in this Monte Carlo Masters. Who's, who's going to win that final? It's impossible to predict. It's, all, it's impossible to predict. Tell me, guys, who do you believe will win that final? I don't know, guys. Uh, Dusan Lajovic has impressed on me. He has defeated a great players so far in this tournament. He has defeated Dominic Thiem. has defeated uh, 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 Medvedev in the semifinals uh, the, uh, uh, earlier today. And so uh, Dusan Lajovic is, uh, is in good, great shape as well. And Fabio Vignini has defeated great players as well. Uh, 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 one of them is Alexander Zverev. I know that Alexander Zverev has not been his, is, is not in his best time of his career, but it, he is the world number three after all. So he defeated him, and he has defeated the most impressive player of all. Uh, it, it, it is Rafa Nadal, of course, the, the greatest clay court player of all time. So who, who will win that final tomorrow? It can, it can go either way, guys. I really don't know, to be quite honest. It's a toss-up. Really, but I don't know. It feels like Dusan Lajovic is more consistent than Fabio Fognini, so maybe Dusan Lajovic will win that final. It's 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 hard to predict this final. It's almost impossible. But if I would say one name, I will say Dusan Lajovic. He, he seems to me he feels more consistent than than uh, Fabio Fognini. Fabio Fognini is a more shot maker. He makes more winners. But he can make more unforced errors than Dusan Lajovic. He wear Dusan Lajovic wear down uh, Medvedev earlier today, and Medvedev is a solid, good baseline player who doesn't do a, a lot of unforced errors. But he wear him down uh, in, uh, today, earlier today in the first semifinal. So I think that Dusan Lajovic probably will wear wear down Fabio Fognini as well in that final tomorrow. So I think Dusan Lajovic will win his first ever Monster 1000 title in his career. But I'm not sure, guys. I am definitely not. Fabio Fognini can win that final as well. After winning, after defeating Rafa Nadal, the greatest clay court player of all time, he is full of confidence. He, he of course, believes in himself, so he can definitely defeat Dusan Lajovic as well in that final. So it can go either way, but my, my feeling... My bet is on Dusan Lajovic. That's my feeling. I think Dusan Lajovic will win that final tomorrow, but I am definitely not sure. Anyway, congratulations, congratulations to both of these players who are playing his first ever Thousands Masters uh, final tomorrow. And hope the best man wins tomorrow.
All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this, vi this video. Take care and bye-bye.